All right then, this month's resplendent shall be themed around the realm of hell. You two are the ones that we are thinking of possibly having this spot, so I'm going to ask both of you some questions so I can decide who's going to get it. Question 1, how would you define yourself at what you do in your game? I'm still in training, so sorry if I... Uh, just a big sorry. I am known as the Angel of Death. Alright, next one. How would you describe yourself personality-wise? I'm... I don't know. There's no good word. Shy? Do I know of joy, sorrow, anger, dread? No. I have no heart. Good answers. Last one. What do you think about death? The... the realm of the dead? Oh, scary! Can we talk about something else? A pile of corpses. Upon that I was born. An infant in a cradle of death. Alright, good news. I believe I made my decision on who would be the perfect fit for a Hell Resplendent. The Realm of the Dead! <laughs>my name's pretty and welcome back to a resplendent review hopefully this time i'm not as late as you know elise's but <laughs> <sighs> we're here to talk about the latest resplendent hero are you excited i have mixed feelings let's just go ahead and you know introduce them what are those things that Neetha Valir uses to fight? Actually, forget it. Just point me to their weak spot. It's Javar. <laughs> like, okay. He's not bad, but he's not what I expected. I wasn't expecting him to be, you know, Neetha Valir, but here we are. Um, I, let's just look at his outfit. First off, I will say... Design-wise, he is significantly better than other Nidavalier resplendents. He seems to be catching on to the vibe a little bit more, say, compared to, like, Merrick. <laughs> oh, Merrick. Um, he does fit the color scheme to a T. Like, he has the black, he has the accents of white, he has the bronze metal, and the pop of color, which his color is purple. And I think it looks really, really good with him, with his bright hair popping out from, uh, you know, his little... I, I don't know exactly what word to call it, but it's like a hat, but not a hat. <laughs> it's a headband. <laughs> um, other things, though, he does have the bodysuit armor that is traditional of Nidavalier. Um, except, you know, he has an ab cut out because, you know gotta show off them pecs somehow i guess <laughs> um he does also have a lot of motif of gears i wish there was a little bit more but i understand that you don't want to go kind of ham with that because it could look a little tacky if you do too much but he has um a gear on his belt and a gear on his um his cape i kind of wish like he had a gear on his head accessory but like you know that's just being picky um his silhouette I don't think fits exactly, but to be fair, Nidavalier designs are not the best. It's hard to say which is worst, Embla or uh, Nidavalier. I feel like just... Okay, Embla's the most inconsistent and Nidavalier misses the mark the most. That's, that's how I'm going to phrase it. <laughs> yes. Um, so he does not have such a sun, slender silhouette in terms of his hips, mainly. Um, if you took away the cape to just look at his outfit, his hips are too bul bulged. And I understand that's because of his daggers that he's holding, but in comparison to other... Like, the main Nidavalier characters, they have a lot more slender appearance. 
But I'm not going to knock him too hard on that, even though if I'm going on a tangent here. Um, besides, let's just take the silhouette and put it put it on the side. Um, he does have cape. Awesome. Yay. Um, he does have gloves. Um, he does have fingerless gloves because, you know, it's Jafar. Why not? And metal braids on his clothing. So he has the metal braids on his uh, waist. Overall, if I'm looking at Nidavellir and saying, does he fit? Aesthetic wise, he, out of all of the Nidavellir resplendents, fits the most design wise, which is very nice. Very, very nice. I, obviously, there's some gripes and obviously I wish there were some things changed, but overall he does fit the design aesthetic, which is nice. It's refreshing to see because, oh my God, the previous Nidavellir ones have been little rough little rough overall i'm going to give him about a seven out of ten um yeah <laughs> i think i encapsulated all of my thoughts with that <laughs> so uh seven out of ten all righty now we get into the theming of you know notably resplendence <laughs> and seeing if jafar fits um Tentatively, the theming for Nidavellir is a sense of duty, more of like a sense of duty to something or an ideal, uh, not as grand as like Asker's sense of duty, where it's a sense of duty to a people, to a country, kind of big grand stuff. Nidavellir feels a lot more grounded, a lot more duty to self kind of vibe. Will Jafar fit? I don't know. Let's just take a look see do and dive on in, shall we? As a result of his upbringing by Nurgle, Jafar is initially emotionless, ruthless, and willing to kill in cold blood. He begins to change when he is discovered near death by Nino. She defies the code of the Black Fang and saves Jafar's life. He begins to care about Nino, and when Sonya orders him to betray and kill Nino after they assassinate Prince Zephiel, Jafar defies her and orders Nino to flee, while he makes a last stand to save her. He can also fall in love with Nino if they build up enough support. He is also very difficult to scare, and only Sophia is able to startle him. Okay, yeah, I know that was very short. It was hard finding a nice, consistent, like description <laughs> for him like i can read like his role in the story but that's like multiple paragraphs long and that's not what i want to do right now i don't want to read multiple paragraphs <laughs> with just my voice um but from just my skimming and from my understanding of jafar he does have that sense of duty to nino um, Nino is essentially his savior and he wants to protect her. Um, so he can fit into Nidavellir. However, there is one that fits a little bit better than that. Um, you know, he's, he's known as the angel of death. In his story, he sacrifices himself for something. Huh? Huh? What place does that sound like? Oh, hell? Hmm. Oh, wow, that would be so fitting. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little salty that they went with Nidavellir. While I am appreciative of like them making a good design for Nidavellir, I understand it was the obvious choice to do hell, but like it fits so perfectly it encapsulates his story encapsulates his persona and come on you look good in hell attire <laughs> so i'm not saying he doesn't fit he does fit just wish it was hell um he also would fit into emblem since he kind of had a rough childhood and was very used essentially to murder people um other than that those are probably the top three realms but if I had to say it in order, I'd want Hell, Nidavellir, and then Embla. So I'm going to give him a, I guess, another 7 out of 10. <laughs> because he does he does fit. I just wish they went with the more fitting choice. And now we get to wrap this up with my opinions. I'm kind of just meh on this resplendent, to be honest. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. 
if that makes sense. Like, his design overall, I think, is very nice. I think it very much fits with the vibe of still being an assassin and fitting it into the Nidavellir aesthetic. Um, I don't like what's going on with his belt. <laughs> his belt is a little weird. <laughs> Let's just say that, weird. His attack pose, though, is very, very, very nice. I, I appreciate the um, bending of the daggers. Obviously, like, not every single dagger needs to be like completely straight like a knife but like it just flows with the motion so well in his keep and just the posing it just creates like this nice circle effect on him and it's just really visually pleasing to look at now he's uh, special <laughs> They could have done so much more with his special to be honest i appreciate what they did with his face his face looks fabulous that intense death stare however let me hold on i need to pull up uh the specific resplendent art that i'm thinking about <laughs> i kind of wish they went more in the route of like long coup special where it's lots of red lots of intense sharp lines instead of the blue swirl with fire Really, he really should have evoked the angel of death that is his moniker. Like, I understand they want to keep the circular motion, but blue isn't very much a color of death. It's a very much different meaning to it color-wise. I, I just wish a couple of things were changed on his special. Especially, why is there just random fire? <laughs> why is there random fire? I don't understand. I mean, if you wanted to... If you wanted to, now hear me out. <laughs> you could have done smoke. So a lot of the Nidavellir specials feature a lot of explosions and smoke because that's what they are. <laughs> but with Jafar, what you could have done is a trail of explosions that are instead of the blue lines and having the smoke kind of obscure your view of him. So you see the angel of death popping out from explosions ready to murder you that would have been so cool <laughs> but i'm biased i'm biased i'm biased and you know damage dart is damage dart I, I like his art it's definitely an improvement from his uh base art he appreciated the stats for sure but overall i'm just very lukewarm on it yeah, it's nothing amazing and nothing like I want to kick it to the curb kind of thing. So I, I guess I, I don't know what to give him as a number rating since I'm writing him on a tier maker list. Maybe I should stop giving them numbers on my opinions because, you know, tier list. Speaking of that tier list, let's figure out where he goes, shall we? Um, It's for sure better than mace i i really do appreciate what they did for him but i don't think i can say that it's fully better than mace i feel like it's slightly better than mace because of just his design is not my favorite but that's because i'm biased towards native layer designs i've never really been a fan of them <laughs> so i think I'm going to put him right in between uh, Minerva and Sheeta because I feel like that's a really nice, comfortable spot for him. And, you know, he's good, but not like amazing. What are your thoughts on uh, Jafar, our latest resplendent? You know, let me know. Let me know down below and uh... yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying to come up with a clever thing to say here, but I, I just can't. <laughs> but um, that should be it for this Respondent Review, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Keep fighting your battles, and I will see you next time. Toodaloo!